Hi everybody, hope you're keeping well and safe. It's Sheila here. Um, I'm going to show you today how to do these little sections in this necklace here. We have these gorgeous, I love these cathedral beads. They really are very, very decorative. And if you haven't used them before, they really are gorgeous. Can you see that lovely um, design on the top there? It really is beautiful and it's, it's rose gold so you can see the sparkle on the top and it's the same with these little ones here as well they're exactly the same and the hole inside is really really generous so um yeah fabulous i absolutely love them so here we go so what i've done to create this section here is i've got five of the cathedral beads on and then in between i've got a little seed bead so what we do then is um, use as much thread as you can, but obviously I'm not using too long a piece here because otherwise it'll get in the way. And then one, two, three, four, five. So we've got five on there and then just, oh, I've missed the seed bead off the end there, haven't I? There we go. Let's take that out then and put the other seed bead on. There we go. Otherwise we'll have a gap. So make sure that you've, because I haven't got a seed bead at the end there. So I've just put one on now. So now I can tie the knot. Excuse me if my I'm keeping the one finger down, but I've burnt it, so uh, I'm having to be careful I don't catch it. So I've done that knot. Really? There we go. So that's the knot there, and that is now secure. I'm going to do just one other one, just for, to be sure. And then I'm going to cut that bit off there because otherwise it'll get in the way when you're trying to do the, there we go. So I know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the thread right back through all of these um, seed beads and the cathedral beads because you need to strengthen that section gives it that added strength so there's quite a lot in this kit as well um, so it, I think I've made about six pieces I think six or seven pieces so there we go so that is now slightly stronger now, it's not so, it, it keeps its shape, okay? So now what I'm going to do is got 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'll get 10 of these seed beads, okay? And then take them across and back through so you get that you've got these um, cathedral beads sort of encased with the seed beads around the outside. So again, we'll do one, two, oops, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. There we go. So we do exactly the same again. So take your seed beads. And then take them across and just pop your needle through the next seed bead and bring it back up. Don't take it through the cathedral bead again. So as you can see now, we're building the sections around, around the cathedral beads. So that's all you do. So I've done the this one so I can carry on showing you that. So as we've got two more left to do on here now, as you can see. So that's one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten. Let's check. I don't think one jumped off there. And then just again, just take it through, back through your seed bead, back up the other side. Now we've just got one more to do now. I'll just cut that other piece off there. So 
So as you can see, we've just got one more left to do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. So that takes you back round again to where you are. So if you take those round and then because you've actually now got the the actual um, seed beads round that, just try and get underneath the first one, which is you have to just sort of push your needle around. It is easier than this. It's just I'm trying not to catch my finger. There we go. So there we go. So then start to just pull those and just secure those again. So go around, go around all of them again and just secure them like so. Bring them through your seed beads. Up, there we go. So just keep taking them up and around just so that you secure the outside. And then we'll have to secure the inside of the larger beads then because it just gives you that it gives you that tautness round your round your little sections. So we'll do one more. You see how how easy they are to go through. It, it as I said, it just gives you how did you go and I think the colours go so beautiful. One more. And then we'll start to go through the larger, the larger of the cathedral beads. Take that up. Now this time what we'll do, once we've gone through there, when we've gone through the seed beads to just give it that firmness, as you can see now it's sitting really nicely. And then just pop, now instead of going up, just go straight through, straight through your cathedral whoops your cathedral bead come out the other side and then that's starting to secure the center section go through your one seed bead if you can see there and then you will move it around a little bit you will find the hole in the cathedral bead and then that's it really and I've done each section separately so you can then I'll show you oops to show you then so what I've done then is so that's the that's the that's the first one that I did where we started to go round and we've we've finally gone round this section now and taken it all the way round and then what we do then is we actually cut that little bit off there again there we go so then when you when you've finished around like a section of the flower we'll call it a flower there we go so once you finish that section then just add one of the um a sort of a an orange sort of a color aren't they i'm not sure quite what i will call those but they are they're, they're almost like an amber color aren't they really um and then we've done one of these beautiful blue ones then another one of the amber color and then what you do then what i did i then added them separately so you would you would make sure that they're sitting correctly so you will then take your needle and go through the section there so you're meeting that seed bead in the middle there and you're also meeting and going through oops going through so as you can see that there, it's difficult with the white, but there I've just taken that through and I will follow that all the way around to the, to the, to the opposite side until I come out that same side. Okay, so follow those. So I'll take, excuse me, I'll take the seed beads all the way, not the seed beads rather, the cathedral beads, take the needle through those cathedral beads, which I'll do. So take them through that. Don't go through any of the seed beads, just take them through cathedral beads. In fact that's another needle I've got there from the other one. <laughs> okay so we'll take that through there. 
take it back through the other hole in the cathedral bead and you can there we go and then that will bring me out through so that's the one there so there we are and then that will bring me out to the other one that I did so I'll tie a knot in there I'll tie a knot in there secure that do another one we use because I've been using a couple of needles to show you the different stages I'll take that needle off now and then we'll just oops, sorry about that and then we'll just do another knot I do like to do a few knots because it helps to secure excuse my watching my finger I don't catch it So we've now got that securely so I can get rid of that other piece of cotton there we go so now we've got the two sections there okay I've just got to go down one more it could be that way now I'll go around one more that way there we go and then what you do then is you just get your your other And then one of the blue ones, so you add, excuse me, one of the amber coloured, one of the blue, one of the amber and carry on again. And then you would then finish off the other one that I started earlier just to show you. And then you have your complete necklace then. Sorry, this keeps moving. <laughs> okay, well, I, ho I hope you enjoy making that. Um, it, it is, it's just separate, separate pieces and then you just join together. Keep that one thread there from the first one and then you would just use that to carry on through. Take that one out of the way, because that's how I've done a few sections separately for you. So there, you just then carry on and finish it in exactly the same as I've showed you that on the next section there. And then you'll have your complete necklace. And then you just got, to, I just followed on around with the seed beads, with the amber looking uh, colour cathedral bead. And then just take that up until you put your, your clasp on the end. And there you have that necklace. Hope you enjoy having a go at that. Bye-bye for now.